As we continue down our exploration of the block layout system in WordPress, next on the list is layout elements. Layout elements are really neat. One of the things you can do is actually build pretty sophisticated layouts that are truly responsive right here within the WYSIWYG editor. So I'm going to add a block for columns. When I click on that block over on the right hand side, you can see that I can set up my block. I can make it three columns, four columns, five columns. That gets a little ridiculous. But what I can do here as well is click and drag this particular block. and drag it right into my two column block. And that's pretty slick. So blocks can be dragged around and placed. So above that, I'm going to again drag that cast and crew down. And then I'm going to add some more members of the crew in the right hand side. Right now, I'm going to just type in Andre the Giant. And I'm going to change that to a list and then continue typing. And we could go on and on and on, of course. Let's add another block. You'll notice I click down there instead of going back up to the top. Let's add a media and text box. Once again, I can choose an image out of my media library or I can upload a new file. Now, just as a reminder, these images I'm just stealing off Google. You probably ought to not do that for your real website. And I'm going to put in cover art. Once again, always adding good alt text. Click select, and there we have it. Let's add some content. This is the cover for the video DVD of the movie. And let's click update. Now, one of the interesting things here, when I click on the block, you'll notice over here I've got a new setting. Everything here on the right hand side is always contextual. I can actually update and change the background of this particular block. Actually, going with any color I want, that's pretty ugly. Let's stick with that one. You'll notice that the text color is smart enough to know that it should be white or dark depending on the color of the background. That's pretty awesome. And let's view our post. And there's our Princess Bride cover and text. Another block to add in this section is the Read More. And this is, of course, important. You don't want the post archive page to go on and on and on and on. So I'm actually going to click here and click Add a Block. Scroll down, find layout elements, and click the Read More. So it placed the block right above. That's pretty smart. So now if I click Update, and I go to my site, you'll see that now I have a Read More. Perfect. The last layout element I want to talk about is a button. There's others here, of course, and you can play with them as much as you want. But I'm going to add a button here, just as simple as that. And over here on the right, I've got background color and text color. Paste the URL for the button. I can center it. I can click in it and click me for more information about this movie. And then put the link to IMDb or whatever down there. And that's the URL for this movie. Click Apply. And now that link will be applied to this button. I want to give it some contrast here. So in the background, I'm going to go for black. That's really bold. So under the layout elements, then, you have a number of options to add some great features to every post you create.